Hi guys, I'm David and this is Jeanette. Together we are Low Range 4x4 Adventures. For the last few years we have been doing some epic trips to amazing locations across Australia. Subscribe and like our videos and hit the notification bell to join us on our adventures. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. All right, it is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, everyone. Hope you all got some sweet treats. Uh, when we get back from the little walk we're doing this morning, we're going to be looking for ours. The Easter Bunny is hidden them somewhere in the car. I have no idea where. <laughs> so I decided that we are going to do the 3K walk from where we camped last night to Liffey Falls and Dave's coming along because he doesn't trust me not to get lost oh, so, <laughs> so um, the uh, walk follows the creek and I think it's going to be pretty level all the way we'll see so yeah but very pretty in here mm -hmm. and it's the old tram line so old logging tram line that it follows so yeah we'll go and have a nice leisurely stroll and then when we get back we need to do some jobs um, i'm gonna try sharpening the chainsaw because it's getting a bit flat and dave wants to adjust the brakes on the car so we'll do a few little jobs and then we're gonna head off and find a campsite for tonight guys how beautiful is this it's so stunning in here trying, so i should stop it so hard on myself, it's true. Pick apart the things I do. Been in hiding, backsliding, keep rewinding, pulling the thread through the loop, trying to find the faith I knew. Going for a dip. So beautiful and clear. Oh, looks amazing. All right, we are back to the track that we walked in along yesterday. So that goes back to the Upper Liffey car park. And if we continue our way down here, we'll be back at the waterfall. It's only about five minutes from where the two tracks meet. So we might go down and have another look at it because it's so beautiful. The rocks are very slippery here if you come down guys, so just be really careful. Okay guys, so that walk to Liffey Falls and back, that took us about two hours. And we did stop and do a bit of filming, had a couple of incidents. <laughs> <laughs> one which you'll see, one which you won't. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was a beautiful walk. Just be careful because it is a little bit slippery mm. <laughs> on the rocks and um, yeah, 
on the logs in the river. So, <laughs> but yeah, we thought now, what's the plan now? You've changed it again, Dave. We're going to pack up. I think we up. need to pack up here and go towards Deloraine so we can get some internet and catch up on some work stuff. Mm. And then we can head to our next camp, which is uh, near some cave that we can go and explore. So, sounds interesting. Yeah, sounds really good. All right, let's pack up the camp. Hey everyone, we are at Mole Creek Cast National Park and last night we stayed at Honeycomb Caves campsite, which was really, really pretty. Nice big camping area. Pretty little creek running along the side. Yeah, water's absolutely yep. pristine, beautiful, crystal clear. Yeah, mountains in the background, a little bit too cool for swimming. Mm. So today we're going to explore Honeycomb Cave. These caves you can walk in and explore yourself. You do need to be very careful and aware. There are hidden cave entrances, can be dangerous rock falls and slippery tracks. So this is the entrance of the cave here. So we'll go down, have a look and um, yeah, take you guys exploring with us. We're not sure we, um, like how they've been formed or why they're here. We haven't been able to find out much information and we don't have the internet at the moment, but it looks like they're pretty cool. There's, um, they, the creek that we're camped along runs through the caves as well. So pretty keen to get in there and do some exploring. I will have it Once we figure it out by now Tired of them bringing me down So I met it And it's tragic Cause it matters Every second that I lose This is the entrance guys um, Obviously bring a torch uh, We've bought a couple of torches Some spare batteries But it's really huge at the moment not sure if there's a path or anything like that. So I guess we just follow the creek along. Looks like perf people have walked across this log here. Oh, there's steps over down the end. Little paths just disappear off in the, every direction inside here. Right? You could get lost so easy. So I'm just keeping an eye on where we've come in and and where the light's coming from. So I know which way's out. So it looks like a couple of different ways you can go here. It's massive big trees being washed down in here. So then I must flood quite a bit. There's just little caves off everywhere. <laughs> Maybe we should tie a piece of string to ourselves, honey. It's broken off, hasn't it? Yeah, we've been broken off by people. This is cool. Yeah. This is so awesome. You can see the rips on the end of all these mm. stalactites. There's one about to drop just up there. Yeah, unfortunately, because the caves are so, um, I guess people can just come in here. There has been a lot of damage to the stalactites and stalagmites. They have put some white ropes around, and they just ask people to stay on this, like outside of these areas that they've kind of marked off I guess like this is incredible this would have taken thousands and thousands and thousands of years to form just beautiful hey okay, guys not exactly where we saw where we are or where we've been at the moment but check this out this is just beautiful So there's heaps, like obviously honeycomb, there's caves everywhere, but you do come across um, bits quite regularly where you can sort of get out to, I don't know if you know where you are when you get out, but 
Wow. Yeah. Goes down there. Could spend hours exploring this. Just so pretty. I don't think this is a way out. But <laughs> it's a way out of the place. I don't know where it goes. I know, but it's beautiful. Mm. Tranquil garden. Okay, so actually coming out a different uh, exit to where we went in, not far from where we went in. Right it's actually there. stairs. <laughs> right in the road. Yeah, on the opposite side of this fenced off area. So there's a day use area here as well. But that was fun. That's um, We didn't see a lot of it, I'm sure. I'm sure there's so much more in there you yeah. could look at. We could just go in there for hours. Yeah, but it's very cool. All right, what's next? Pack up. Pack up? Your fa my favorite thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> Wes. Oh no, we were gonna go to. I think we'll just go back, secure stuff, and then. Uh, Head up the road and go to Westmoreland Falls. Uh huh, sounds good, sounds like a plan. So, guys, just um, heading in on the Westmoreland Falls track. It's supposed to be two hours return. Um, there's a warning at the beginning of oh, the track is can be extremely wet and muddy, so you should wear appropriate footwear and take appropriate care. So, so the car park to the falls is only what uh, five k up the road from where we can. Oh, a kilometre or so, yeah. So, so it's super close to the caves. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to wander up here. Apparently, um, I know from reading stuff that these falls are uh, pretty amazing. So hopefully, there's been enough rain around to have them flowing nicely so let's go check it out Man, it's slippery up there. Yeah. I didn't expect to see the fossils. That was really interesting. Yeah. We've just packed up at uh, Ocean Vista Caravan Park, which is just west of Burnie. We're basically in Burnie. Uh, we had a couple of nights there after the car was checked out at Motors yesterday. They've gone through it and everything's good couple little things they need to tidy up which they've ordered some stuff for we'll come back sometime in the future and get those things knocked over but uh yeah I'll wrap this one up yeah i'll wrap this one up we've had a um really really nice run up four days over easter from hobart right up through the center up yeah. to bernie which is just lovely that so. central highlands area is just beautiful um we booked um definitely go back there and spend some more time exploring yeah, there's definitely. so much to see so. yeah so um you guys know the drum if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button ding the notification bell and throw us a thumbs up comments questions throw them at us guys we're getting a few now which is nice starting yeah. to sort of yeah we try to answer as quickly as we can so yeah, we love the stories and um, the comments here, they're great. And um, thank you for our new subscribers.
subscribers and thank you for the old ones. We really appreciate you guys coming along with us. And um, yeah, we're going to head, uh, get back down around Hobart in the next few days and do that bottom corner, um, yeah, down to Port yeah. Douglas. Port There's Douglas. Port Douglas, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Poor Douglas, that's like 3,000 kilometers that way. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Jeanette, well, what Jeanette was saying, and she can say it, was we're going to head down to the most southern point of, the Australia, of Australia, and we're going to work our way back up the east coast towards Hobart and that area, doing Port Arthur, Bruny Port Island. Arthur, that's those places so yeah all right guys stay safe everyone catch you on the next one